Local governments have a pretty big challenge of maintaining their assets to keep them in good working order. Some of that maintenance includes things like crack sealing pavement, inspecting sewer mains, or flushing water hydrants. Cartograph built preventative maintenance in OMS to allow uh, users uh, the ability to help facilitate some of those repetitive tasks. Um, preventative maintenance in OMS allows users the ability to A, create plans which are essentially a group of assets that you want to maintain, B, set up the work or activities that you want to perform against those assets, and C, to define the rules that govern when that work should trigger in the software. Um, so we're going to go over a quick overview of preventative maintenance as well as to set up a flushing water hydrants plan. So I'm going to go over here to the software now. You'll notice that I'm on a water hydrant, a specific water hydrant. Uh, the model is Super Centurion. I'm going to go down to the tasks section and show you that there are four tasks, three completed in one plan. We'll take note of this and come back and, and review this after we've created our plan. So I'm going to switch over to the preventative maintenance area right now. And <clears throat> you'll notice that I've got two plans here. I've got them already narrowed down to just the ones that are for water hydrants. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one here. So give it a name. And after I give it a name, you'll notice that the right now the plan is saying that it applies to all water hydrants. I don't want to do that, especially if you have something like uh, signs that you're creating a plan for and you've got 60,000 signs, you might want to refine that down to just your stop signs or regulatory signs or something like that. But I'm going to come over here to my filter. I'm going to select <clears throat> where the model is equal to Super Centurion. So I'm going to say model is, and I can start typing here and it automatically fills in. Super Centurion and apply. You'll notice that my filtered result set has been updated to show that only 11 assets are equal to model of Super uh, Centurion. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the work that I want to have applied to this particular plan. And we said flush. you notice the activities is limited just to those that are specific to hydrants. Uh, next I need to define those rules that I spoke about before. So I'm going to choose time. And I'm going to say that every three years is when we want this uh, particular plan to fire off. And what that really means is every three years after the completion of a flush activity, I should schedule another one. So we want it to be activated as of today. And go ahead and commit that. After I've committed it, you'll notice that it, it changes and it shows me exactly what I typed in. Every three years after the previous flush was completed, I should do this again. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this up and activate my plan. You'll notice that there's a green halo as well as the active as of today's date. That's your indication that it's an active plan. Come back over here to the uh, asset side of the equation and come back and look at our model uh, hydrant. So you notice now that the tasks have increased to five and one of the new, the new one is this uh, projected flush task and, the re and it's as of uh, scheduled for 425 uh, a couple weeks from now. And you'll notice that up above, we have a completed flush task that was basically done almost three years ago, completed as of 425 three years ago. Um, so that sort of concludes the, uh, the preventative maintenance or as an overview of what preventative maintenance is. And again, its, its main objective is to allow local governments to help facilitate the longevity of their assets by automatically creating tasks for them.